sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. He didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and the cat are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. 
Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. Works for me. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. 
I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made, I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right.
to cover. Heal. <laughs>
Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. <laughs> Niket. You sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh. I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! You see that?
There's smokes near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard.
I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. In my case, it happens to be true, but still. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant, and I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. 
As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Can I help you with something? How would you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI program? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry had better be good, though. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after a while, you can or something. Example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for you. Stupid. 
still can't believe you have a Justicari in your service. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood as I left your generation. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of a problem. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus. Okay, listen, give Vax a full refund. Do you hear me? He knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. And then get your ass someplace safe. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally at my family's house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, uh, company. You can get killed. What about you? You want those toys? My genetic stats are really awesome. My plan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All Shepard. Clips might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need... You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Living at a higher altitude wow. make you more intelligent. Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Union has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of habitat. The news comes as new homes ranging from studio apartments to spacious rooftop mansions enter the market bed. The scandal rock story of Nasana Dantius has come to a tragic Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Liara, I'm not gonna help you murder someone. If I can't narrow it down, I'll take out all five. They're all connected to the Shadow Broker in some capacity. Nothing to lose sleep over.
Regardless, it's not safe to talk about this further. If you care to make contact, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Bad luck on the stock market. Debt piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. No messages for you, Commander. I'm 
Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard. I just... he's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I just want to protect him. I know. <laughs> 